That was just one of two big games in the big Northern Conference tonight. Yeah, the other one had Stoneman Valley taking on Dixon. Taylor Castro drew the assignment for that. She joins us right now. Hi, Taylor. Hey guys, both of these teams came into this game undefeated and Stillman Valley had an impressive win against Byron in week one. If the Cardinals could knock off the Dukes on the road, they'd be sitting in great shape in the big Northern Conference race. All of the fans at the game knew there was a lot on the line here. Both student sections were absolutely fired up. This one started out as a defensive battle here. Jack Seacrest takes down the Dixon ball carrier with a massive tackle. It was scoreless in the fourth, first quarter. Now in the second, it would be Stillman Valley to strike first. Jory Spain sneaks into the end zone to give the Cardinals the lead, and it's what got the game going after a slow start on offense for both teams. The Duke's defense wouldn't slow down, though. Porter needs. He dodges a bunch of defensemen for an extra yards here on this carry. What a battle. Braden Angle then turns on his wheels for this score. Not one, but two Dukes failed to stop him, and here he goes. He takes it all the way to the end zone to put the Cardinals up. Another score on the Dukes. But Dixon still put up a fight. Look at this dime of a throw from Tyler Shaner to Ryan Ramsell. That would put the Dukes on the board, but they'd stop there. Stillman Valley beats Dixon 36-6. So the Cardinals are 4-0. Their big showdown with Genoa Kingston will come on the final week of the regular season at Stillman Valley. Reagan and Scott.